you have started Quite producing um, gas blowback rifles. Uh, yes. Um, but you started with crystals. Yes. Basic crystals. Uh, what, were, what, what did it take for you to switch from pistols to gas blowback rifles? Actually, um, not a whole lot of difference mm -hmm. because uh, in the very beginning, WE started as a uh, known pistol manufacturer. Mm -hmm. uh, the pr basic principle of airsoft pistol, the GBBs, work basically the same. Uh, however, with the help of cooperation with AFC in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. which owns the pat patent to the AWSS system, mm -hmm. okay, worldwide, is a payment system, uh, they provide a lot of technical support you know, to the factory. And with that cooperation, the transition was very smooth, was very easy. Okay. Um, a lot of players uh, were basically what from my experience is unfoundedly complaining about uh, quality issues because they were used let's say for to KSC or Marui and then when they switched to, to WE uh, they, they started complaining but mostly from what I had experienced with it was the, it functions a little bit different because it's it's a completely metal gun takes a little bit different care different gas and stuff um, did you have to resolve any issues regarding quality control of course I, I, I will not lie about it I will not put it in any different way I'll put it out straight I believe every manufacturer these days, okay, uh, including Marui, Marui goes through the testing process, let's say maybe eight months before they release a gun. We all know that how long they have for each model guns, they have a two year period for releasing each gun. Um, for us, we see that how we release our guns. Uh, not, not that we are rushing to the market. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying that I believe uh, because of the competition today between companies, uh, everybody are trying to get ahead of everybody. Mm -hmm. Now, not to say that we ex ignore QC and put product on a market that it still needs working on. All I'm saying is I believe that all manufacturer has their own issue with initial releases and I believe that I have made enough of an effort to listen to the customers mm -hmm. and making changes to what is needed to be changed with quality issues or design issue. Um, I think that's as best as you can ask from a manufacturer. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not saying that I'm perfect. We are not perfect. Okay, but we're willing to listen. And that's the reason why that we have to go through a channel like you guys or our Airsoft EU forum mm -hmm. uh, or our uh, own forum to gather information from the end user so that they can provide information to us from the very grassroots level mm -hmm. what has to be changed what is wrong with some of the issues or some of the problem or some of the, 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 the you know the breaking even let's say for example the breaking stock play issue with the scar because I admit to you that we have not calculated the, the power of how to use the CO2 because it only breaks on CO2 it won't break on top gas so we have to reinforce that play to take CO2 mm -hmm. now yes I admit that, that that is an issue but that issue was fixed even after first generation was shipped. So the generation two and three guns, they all have the, the correct plate. Mm -hmm. These are things that I believe that it shows the sincerity in our product mm -hmm. of our team to actually fix the issue before it gets worse. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, in fact, these days when we release, let's say the current release of the M14 and the brand high power, and the future guns like the MP5 series, uh, we will actually go through a more stringent uh, QC testing so that we will eliminate a lot of the initial problem. Mm -hmm. uh, mind you, understand that even with the M4 series that we have, that was the very first GBB mm -hmm. that we come up with. We learn from that, okay, we learn from all the issues that we, we encounter. Mm -hmm. uh, by the time that the SCAR came out, uh, you can attest to that, that the SCAR already have fewer issues than the M4. And now with the PDW that came out, I have not heard of any issue so far mm -hmm. with the PDW, which I think it's a great improvement already. Yes. And I expect that to continue to progress and get better mm -hmm. you know, with our product. And eventually, I hope, I really hope that we can be as good as Marui. Yes. You know, and 
I'm, I'm currently very satisfied with our QC process. You know, we purchased our new factory in Taiwan. We have 80,000 square meter factory, new factory. This is our fourth one. Uh, we have an independent QC department that is doing a very good job at the moment. Uh, I think we have a good year ahead of us. You mentioned some new products yes. for the near future. Yes. Um, can you tell us a bit more about what you are planning? What can you release to the public right now regarding information okay. about the product? I think um, the very current release, the next release, will be the Browning High Power for sure. It should be available within weeks. Uh, I think we're all done with it. It's doing very well. We have to release the Browning first. Um, the M14, which has created a lot of uh, interest you know, in the world, uh, it will come. It will come. I would, I would not give a definite promise now, guys, but I am hoping for May. Okay, I'm hoping for May. Uh, I have a lot of confidence that we can achieve that. Mm -hmm. By May, you should see the 14 being shipped already. Um, and then uh, I would say. I'll give a little hint. Uh, as I said before already, uh, I, said I, I gave out the word the MP5 would be next. Um, the it is 80-90% finished now, so then you will expect the, uh, the MP5 series to, to release next. Mm -hmm. And after that, there will be some other projects we already be working on. You know, so just keep watching the news. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you have a very well, uh, well set up form. Yes. Which I suppose you get a lot of feedback from your users. You also have part of it where the users suggest what your next project should be. Yes. How much of uh, that input do you actually take into measure when developing a new, a new product? A lot. In fact, a lot. Okay, we discuss internally almost every week uh, of our next projects or future projects. Mm -hmm. But I hope the, uh, the general public, uh, my friends out there, would understand that um, we also, as a company, must take into consideration the economics, you know, of manufacturing. Now, this is something painful, but it's something practical. We must consider that. Uh, not that we don't want to do anything. Uh, it's just that I must consider the economics of it, so that the company will not lose money doing something. Uh, if I would love to do certain guns that I love, but uh, probably impossible because it's just that you know maybe I'm the only one who would love to see it, or maybe another ten person would love it. But if I manufacture ten guns and using up a million dollars of mold, it, it will not make any sense. Okay, just like anything else. Uh, however, I have accepted. WE as a whole would love to tell the public now that we will try as best we can to manufacturing all platform out there uh, for everybody. Okay. Now, as I said, we already have the M4, uh, we have the SCAR, we have the PDW, which all three guns also perform based on the 5.56 or yeah, in the PDW, the smaller caliber, yes, the PDW will take a regular M4 Max, okay, so I guess you can say 5.56 or whatever they call it, 6.35. Uh, however, now with the M14, we have the 308 platform, okay? And with that, we can expand more. We're talking SCAR X here, we're talking SR25. So, yes, the possibilities are out there. And I'm sure all these will, will come back and all my friends out there will tell me, James, uh, we have a, a poll right now, these are the guns that we want, okay? We, I can promise you I will take that into consideration. And definitely it plays a big role in what we do next. Okay. Yep. Uh, finally, uh, just the last question. What is your goal for the future for Waytech to achieve globally? I mean, the, 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 the way you would like to take the company to? Uh, you put him you put in a pretty, pretty awkward position here. Uh, as a company executive, I, I, I would love to see my company grow to become a major presence uh, on the airsoft market. Uh, as I said, I started off um, a little bit different than most airsoft companies. We tried to create a, a weapon system that can be used by professionals for training. 
uh, which is very successful now. A lot of the units are buying our products for training force and force. Uh, we are uh, at the IWA right now, the Iowa. Uh, my one of my mission is to uh, talk to some of the real steel manufacturers to hopefully cooperate with them uh, for attacking or, or developing the, the training sector more. Uh, as an Asoft company, I hoping that we will continue to come up with different platforms for the GBB market. Uh, I would hope some words of my client or some of the friends who come by and say uh, it is not an impossible dream that WE or WeTech will become the Marui of GBB. Uh, I said that on the camera now. Uh, it's, a, it's a very high and, and, and very honorable dream uh, that we will continue to serve the ASL public uh, as best we can with reasonable price products, but yet very good products. Mm -hmm. uh, and I hope that one day we'll see maybe half, I would say, maybe 40% to half of the, the games play are all with GBB. And at that point, I think that we will be successful. Thank you for your time. Thank you for, for coming and visiting with us. You know, I hope it was our pleasure. Yes, and if you have any questions again, please let me know. I'm Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, guys.